So this is the tutorial on how to uh, make a menu that you can scroll through with your gamepad or a keyboard and change the image of the actual button. So instead of hoovering, you can uh, navigate uh, the buttons uh, with your gamepad. And then when you have uh, one of the button focused, it will change the image. So let's start with making a widget. And we double click it. Uh, we're just gonna add a canvas. And then we're gonna add two buttons. Let's set the anchor to the middle. And because it's just a tutorial, we're not gonna bother too much. So let's call this exit. And this, we're gonna call games. And now for the games one, we I made a quick image. Games black. Let's make it a little bit nicer. And when hoovered, I want games red. For this one, we want uh, exit black. And for this one, we want exit red. So compile save. Let's make a background image. Set the anchor to the middle and make it that something back. So now I've compiled and save. And for this tutorial, we'll just do it in the level blueprint. We do event can play. I'm gonna create widgets. I'm gonna select widgets new widget blueprint i'm gonna promote this to a variable menu and now uh, add the viewport so now if we run this one you will see that we have the two um, buttons and that we can hover over them and that it will change the texture now I don't have control with my gamepad yet. So what we need to do is set the focus of the keyboard because the gamepad is actually using the same focus as the keyboard to the uh, first button in the menu. So first what we need to do is set input game and UI. Uh, we only have one player so we do player controller from ID zero uh, and then we need to branch out from this get the game let me double check that we need to check that this is a variable otherwise we can't access it compile save we branch out from the widget we do games get games uh, and then we branch out set keyboard focus and uh, because there is a lot going on we're gonna do a little delay of 0 0.1 seconds and now if we compile and save you can see that with the keyboard it started the games and then with the exit so now if i do it with the gamepad you can see that it chooses the two different menu items but it doesn't change the texture yet. So we go back to our blueprint, uh, to our widget. Go back to our graph. So on the event construct, we're gonna make a timer. So set timer by event. I'm gonna set this to 0 0.1. We don't need to be it as fast as the actual event tick. We're gonna set this to looping and we're gonna make a custom event, a keyboard focus. So with this event, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna look every 0 0.1 second, which actual button is focused. To do that, we're gonna make an array of all the buttons that we have. So the exit and game. We're gonna get exit, get games. We're gonna do make array, app in, make another, 
array item and then we do for each loop so for every button we gonna execute the following code we're gonna check has keyboard focus we're gonna make a branch and then if true we're gonna make a sequence here and if false we're gonna also make a sequence So when we have the button, we need to, oh, a bit too quick. For every button, we need to check if it's the actual array element. So we do equal, I'm gonna do for exit, get exit equal this uh, branch. Uh, so when it's focused, we're gonna go to this branch. And then when it's exit, we're gonna say true. And then we're gonna do set brush resource to texture. And now we're gonna do that when it's focused. So we do exit red. So now we need to actually say that this texture needs to go on the exit button. So we do style, get style. We're gonna split the structure. And because uh, it's still in the normal, when it has focus, we're gonna change it in the normal one. So brush normal, and let's make a nice comment for this. Change exit button when focused. And now we're gonna repeat that for the games button. So we're just gonna copy, paste, change games button when focused gonna change this one to games need to drag this to the array element and we're gonna drag this in the sequence and this will be games red so now we uh, change it when it's focused but we also need to change it back when it's not focused so we're just gonna copy paste this again for the exit button let's call this not focused and this one goes in the if the branch is not uh, then exit equal to array element and then we do exit black and we do the same again for the games drag this into the array element in the sequence of when we know it's not focused and then we do games black. Compile, save. And now when we play the level, you see that even when with the gamepad or with the keyboard, the image of the button will change. And that's it. That's how you change the image of a button when you focus the actual button with your keyboard or gamepad.